सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक हेल्थ एंड फिजिकल एजुकेशन द टेक्स्ट बुक फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ चैप्टर सिक्स इंडिविजुअल स्पोर्ट्स सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स टेबल टेनिस इंटरनेशनल टेबल टेनिस फेडरेशन आई टी टी एफ वॉज फाउंडेड इन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी सिक्स सिंस नाइनटीन एटी एट टेबल टेनिस हैज बीन एन ओलंपिक स्पोर्ट अदर हिस्टोरिकल नेम्स ऑफ टेबल टेनिस वर गोसिमा विफ वाफ एंड पिंग पोंग फिगर सिक्स पॉइंट टू जीरो दिस फिगर शोज अ रैकेट एंड अ बॉल द रैकेट इज ट्वेंटी फाइव सेंटीमीटर इन लेंथ इट्स ब्रेथ इज फिफ्टीन सेंटीमीटर द टेबल टेनिस बॉल वेज टू पॉइंट सेवन ग्राम एंड इट्स डायमीटर इज फोर्टी मिलीमीटर पेज सेवेंटी वन सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स पॉइंट वन फेसिलिटीज The upper surface of the table known as the playing surface is rectangular with a dimension of 274 cm long and 152.5 cm wide. The height of the table is 76 cm above the floor. The playing surface shall be uniformly dark colored and matte but with a white borderline. 2 cm 3 by 4 inch wide along each 2.74 m 9 feet edge. and a white end line as shown in figure 6.21 figure 6.21 shows dimensions of a table tennis table in the center we have the net on both sides there is a table which is joined at the net the length of one table is 274 cm on one side the width is 152.5 cm the height of the table is 76 cm above the floor We can see the net is suspended by a cord attached at each end to an upright post which is 15.25 cm in height. 6.6.2 Equipment Net Assembly It consists of upright post, height adjuster, horizontal part of the net post and attaching system clamp. The net is suspended by a cord attached at each end to an upright post 15.2 cm high. The color of net assembly should be of dark green, dark blue or black and have a white top not more than 15 mm wide. Ball. The ball is spherical, orange or white in color made of celluloid or similar plastic material with a diameter of 40 mm. Weight 2.7 g. Please check figure 6.20. Page number 72. Bat. The bat is also known as a paddle or racket. The blade shall be flat and made up of wood of dark matte color, one side black and other side bright red. But majority of rackets are of similar size, about 15 cm across and 25 cm long including the handle. Please see figure 6.20. Scoreboard. The board used for scoring is called table tennis scoreboard. Net gauge is used to measure the height of the net and also to measure the thickness of the racket and tension of the bat rubber which should be as per International Table Tennis Federation regulations. Now we have a table for you. The table discusses the dimensions of a table tennis table, net and ball. The first column vertical wise is shape. What is the shape of a table tennis table? Then write the shape of the net and then write the shape of a ball length please write the table tennis table length then the length of the net as ball doesn't have any length the answer is already written not applicable now coming to width write the width of the table tennis table then the width of the net the ball's width is not applicable then height write the table tennis table's height then net's height and then the ball doesn't have any height so the answer is not applicable na coming on to weight the table tennis table's weight is not available neither the net's weight is available now coming on to ball write the weight of the table tennis ball now diameter table tennis table's diameter is not applicable net Diameter for net is not applicable. Do write the diameter of table tennis ball. Now, activity for you, which is activity six point seven, from the table tennis table available in your school. 
fill the columns of the table just discussed and compare the standard norms given above. 6.6.3 Events Singles Boys Girls Doubles Boys Girls Mixed Doubles Combination of Boys and Girls 6.6.4 How to play table tennis A player or team who wins the toss shall have a choice of service or receiving or side of the table to begin. The server shall project the ball resting freely on the palm, toss the ball and strike the ball with the bat. The ball must first touch down on the half of the table, then it should pass over the net and land in the opponent's half without touching the net. The ball having been served or returned shall be struck so that it passes over the net assembly and touches the opponent's half of the table, either directly or after touching the net assembly. In singles, the server shall first make a service, the receiver shall then make a return. Thereafter, each server and receiver shall alternately make a return. In doubles, the server shall first make a service, the receiver shall then make a return, the partner of the server shall then make a return, and the partner of the receiver shall then make a return, and thereafter, each player in turn in that sequence shall make a return. Page number 73. The service shall be a let. If the ball touches the net and goes to the opponent half of the table, or if a ball is served when receiver is not ready. If a player fails to serve or receive the ball, points shall be awarded accordingly. A game is won by the player who first scores 11 points. If both players score 10 points, then the player who gets 2 points lead is declared the winner. 6.6.5 Basic Skills of the Game The Grip There are two types of grips, the shake hand grip and the pen hold grip. A. Shake hand grip Please see figure 6.22 The paddle, a part of the tennis bat, is held as if one is shaking someone's hand with the index finger extending over the bottom part of the rubber on the backhand side and the thumb slightly touching the rubber on the forehand. B. Pen hold grip, figure 6.23 The paddle is held just like a pen, only grasping the paddle at the top of the handle. Figure 6.22 The figure shows how a shake hand grip looks like. The figure has two images. In the first one, it shows how the player holds the bat when he is making a forehand return. And the second image shows how the player holds the racket or the table tennis bat when he makes a backhand return. Both these images are examples of shake hand grips. Figure 6.23 This figure shows how a pen hold grip looks like. We can clearly see the paddle is held just like a pen, only grasping the paddle at the top of the handle. Spin A. There are three spins most commonly used top spin, back spin, and side spin. To hit a top spin, the bat has to be angled in such a way so that the forehand side faces downward 40 degrees, closed face. B. To hit a back spin, angle of the bat should be upward so that the forehand side faces the ceiling, facing upward 45 degrees, open face. Swing through the ball, but much speed should not be used as in top spin. C. A side spin is used in service. It is a combination of top spin and side spin, or back spin and side spin in the service. Strokes A. Strokes are generally offensive and defensive. While performing a stroke, the player should stand close to the table and take a stance facing the line of play. Now, using a short stroke, the racket arm should move from the elbow in a horizontal plane, while the free arm should move upward. The strokes can be played with the backhand push and forehand push. Page number 74 6.7 Wrestling There are two Olympic styles of wrestling, freestyle and Greco-Roman. With one key exception, the rules of the two styles are identical. 
In Greco-Roman, a wrestler may not attack his opponent's legs, nor use his own legs to trip, lift or execute other moves. In freestyle, both the arms and legs may be used to execute holds or to defend against attack. This style was introduced in 1904 at St. Louis Olympic Games. After a century, women freestyle wrestling was introduced in Athens Olympics in 2004. In addition to the above, one more style of wrestling is played in India, which is called the Indian style of wrestling or otherwise known as Pahalwani or Kushti. This kind of wrestling takes place in a clay or a mud pit. Traditional Indian wrestling isn't just a sport. It's an ancient subculture where wrestlers live and train together. 6.7.1 Equipment and Facilities for Indoor Please check figure 6.24 Wrestling is an indoor sport played on a mat. The wrestling area can be circle or square in shape, 12 meter by 12 meter. The thickness of the mat should be between 5 to 7 centimeters. The mats are covered with a non abrasive vinyl material which prevents slipping, injuries, and is easy to clean. The bout is played on a yellow color area with a diameter of 7 meters. The center circle in the middle of the playing area is of 1 meter diameter generally of red and white color. 6.7.2 How to Wrestle The sport of wrestling is played in different weight categories for both boys and girls. The weight categories are provided to minimize the chance of injuries and also to provide an equal platform for applying strength and force for all the wrestlers. The weight categories are different for junior level, senior level, open championships, world championships, Olympic Championships and so on. The changes in weight categories are done by the Federation from time to time. As an example, weight categories for men and women are given below. Figure 6.24 Wrestling Ring The wrestling ring shown here is circular. Its length and breadth both are 12 meters. The center circle in the middle of the playing area is of 1 meter diameter. The radius on one side is 8 meter and on the other side is 7 meter plus 1.5 meter. The distance between the inner circle and the outer circle is 1 meter. Now we have an activity for you. Activity 6.8 Visit an Akhada and write your observations. Page number 75 Now we have a table for you which shows the weight categories according to gender and age. First, we'll start with gender. Men, age group 29 to 32. Weight categories in kg are 35, 38, 42, 47, 53, 59, 66, 73 and 85. Now, women, age category 28 to 30. Weight categories in kilograms available 32, 34, 37, 40, 44, 48, 52, 57 and 65. Please note, International Wrestling Federation, PILA, FILA, rules July 2014, traditional wrestling, Greco-Roman and freestyle. A wrestler can participate in only one weight category in a wrestling competition. Wrestlers must appear on the mat wearing red or blue color uniform as a sign to them. Both wrestlers shake hands in the center of the mat and referee blows the whistle to start. There are three rounds of two minutes each. In case two rounds are in favor of any wrestler, he or she is declared the winner. Bout can also be won by fall. There are three rounds of two minutes each. In case two rounds are in favor of any wrestler, she or he is declared the winner. Bout can also be won by fall. One point is earned when one wrestler takes the other to the mat and establishes control. However, if an attacking wrestler exposes the opponent's back to the mat in the process of the takedown, two more points are awarded. A maximum of five points can be awarded for throwing an opponent over one's head. 
If a wrestler is pushed out of bounds or attempts to escape a hold by stepping into the protection zone with at least one foot, the offensive wrestler is awarded a point. Pechter is when the action of the match is on the mat, with one wrestler in the top position and the other in the bottom position. The top wrestler is allowed to lock his hands anywhere on the body in order to turn his opponent to his back. Turning an opponent to the back, the attacking wrestler earns two points. If the wrestler holds the opponent on his back for five seconds or more, this will earn him an extra point. If there are no points scored in the Pechtech position by either wrestler after about 10 seconds, the official stops the action on the ground and restarts the bout in the neutral position. This is done to keep the action going and allow both wrestlers more opportunities to score. If the score is tied at the end of a round, there is a specific tie-breaking criterion that must be followed to determine the winner. The criteria must be applied in the following order. Moving on to the next rule when one rule does not apply. The wrestler with the least amount of cautions or penalty points against him wins the bout. Page number 76 The wrestler who scored the highest number of technical points with one offensive manoeuvre wins the period. The wrestler that scores the last point before the end of the round wins. The clinch rule or ordered position is used to force action and decide the winner of a scoreless period. This position starts with one wrestler standing in the center of the mat and the other wrestler squatting and taking control of one of his or her opponent's legs. The defensive wrestler standing is allowed to put his or her hands on his opponent's back but may not block or defend in any other way before wrestling starts. These offensive and defensive positions are chosen at random. Once the offensive wrestler has taken a leg, this is when wrestling starts. If the offensive wrestler scores in this position, wrestling is stopped and this wrestler wins the period. If the attacking wrestler does not score in this position at the end of this 30-second period, the defending wrestler is awarded one point and wins that round of wrestling. You are just listening to this audiobook. Narrator, Neeraj Yadav. Technical Coordinator, Buddy Langlingdo. Sound Recordist, Vikas Sangwan. Assistance in Production, Ruchi Sharma. Directed and Produced by Vimilesh Chaudhary. This audiobook is presented to you by CIET and CERT, New Delhi, India.